Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got another sketch up for school's lesson. This one is going to be super fast, so my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to click our little app bar, move down, and launch SketchUp for Schools. I'll put a link at the top of the video if you haven't already set that up. I will also put a link right after that shows you how to get to my.sketchup if you don't have an EDU account. All right, friends, this is going to be fun and fast, but you need to be careful. First, make sure you and your neighbors click Simple Template Feet and Inches. Friends, I want you to click on the Untitled folder, and I want you to rename it. I want it to be feet with your initials. I've done it once or twice, so I'm gonna save mine as MDH2. It asks where I wanna put it. I'm gonna click the SketchUp folder one time and hit select. Remember, if you double click, it does not work. Notice it said saving, now it's saved. We're gonna click on the gentleman and hit delete. Our goal in this simple lesson is to practice making rectangles using the feet and inches measurements and the click and release technique. So click the rectangle and then click and release the origin. And then I need you to type 15 with the foot symbol. And I need you to type comma. And then I need you to type 10 with the foot symbol and press enter. It makes a nifty 15 foot by 10 foot rectangle. Switch to the tape measure, but then the dimension tool. Click once again on the origin, move all the way out to the end and click again and then when you pull away it'll label it as 15 feet and if we click the other far corner then go back to the origin click one more time and lay down the 10 foot that way we have proven our measurements we're going to do this one more time but watch this this time on the green axis it's a rectangle again we're gonna do 15 with the foot symbol. That is super important. We're gonna do comma, and we're just going to press 10 and press enter. Notice, still 15 feet, but since we didn't mark that, it did 10 inches. We're gonna prove that by simply doing the dimension tool again, zooming in on the first corner, clicking the last corner, 15 feet, perfect. If we zoom way in, first corner, second corner, pull it away. Look at that. That is the inch symbol. So today's whole lesson is about making sure we understand the difference about feet and inches and how we type the labels in to get our exact measurements. I'm also going to reinforce that we have to click save and then I want you to take a screenshot of this project. We're just going to hit new and we're going to turn it in like that proving that we know how to make exact shapes label them and save them. I'm gonna just put FT for feet so I can turn that in. Friends, I hope you found this useful. We're doing this because I saw students in class that did not know what the foot symbol or the inch symbol was and could not tell how to use dimensions to prove that their shapes were accurate. So we're just taking time to master those skills so later when we build more complicated things, we are successful. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, Add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.